and welcome back to another episode. We're so glad to have you here today. Today we have some breaking news for Tesla, specifically a tweet by Elon Musk. If you're new to the channel or you've been stopping by from time to time, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. When breaking news comes out just like this, we try to get that content out there as fast as possible so you're in the know as soon as possible. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. So earlier today, Elon Musk was in a Twitter exchange where they talked about the Tesla Model Y in Europe. Specifically, Elon Musk did break the news that the Tesla Model Y at Giga Berlin will be made with the new 4680 battery cells. This is huge news. Additionally, Elon Musk did tweet that the Tesla Model Y in Giga Berlin will be built with the single casted front and single casted rear. Giga Berlin was scheduled to be open in summer of 2021. And when the Tesla Model Y does start coming out of that factory, it sounds like the wait is going to be well worth it. For now, Europe has been serviced by the Fremont factory with the Tesla Model 3, the Model S, and the Model X. However, they have not shipped Model Ys to Europe, and it's been discussed that Giga Berlin will be used for Tesla Model Ys. So until that factory is done, Tesla Model Ys have not and will not be delivered to the European market. So once Giga Berlin is done, they will finally start shipping Tesla Model Ys in the European market. So although there's been frustration with folks in Europe who want to get their hands on a Tesla Model Y, it's starting to look like the wait is going to be well worth it. It was only a few weeks ago that there was a lot of news about Battery Day and what the future looks like at Tesla. Elon Musk shared many details specific to the next generation batteries and put out a roadmap of how these are going to be implemented. However, Giga Berlin was on nobody's radar during the Battery Day event. And it's interesting that we're now learning about this news because this is huge. Originally, it was discussed that the Tesla Model S Plaid was going to be suited with the new 4680 battery cells. And it also appeared that the best capable batteries in the 4680 platform were going to be saved for the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. However, when you look at the roadmap, it looks like the rest of the cars eventually will get these new cells, but they'll be made of different materials. So the maximum benefits achieved with just the batteries are going to be saved for the Cybertruck and the Semi, as well as the Roadster. That said, there are still big benefits coming for the rest of the Tesla platform. Elon Musk did further clarify that the Tesla Model Y with the single casted front and rear, as well as the new integrated battery cells, will need to be into production and lessons learned for two years before they roll out these improvements here in the United States in the Fremont plant and in China at Giga Shanghai. So as we discussed on this channel and as many people have discussed, it's going to be a few years before these new batteries find themselves in the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y, certainly here in the US. And it's also likely that it's going to be a couple years before the X and the S also see that. That is of course, except for the Model S Plaid that is expected to have these new battery cells. And just as a reminder, these new battery cells are going to have five times the energy, it's going to increase range by 16%, and it's going to have six times the power of the existing battery packs in the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. These are huge improvements, and this is not just a step improvement, as we've seen from the batteries that are still in the Model X and S to what's in the Model 3 and Y. So the new battery packs will be increasing range by 16%, but additionally, the chassis improvements with the single casted front and the single casted rear will bring another 14% improvement in range. So assuming that Tesla houses the same kilowatt hours of batteries in the Tesla Model Y with the new battery cells, we can expect to see a 30% range improvement from what is available today. So if the Tesla Model Y here in the United States gets 316 miles of range in all wheel drive platform, we can expect that the Tesla Model Y in Giga Berlin will get 410 miles with the same amount of battery capacity underneath the floor. This is huge. Again, 
Tesla did state it's going to take a couple years to perfect their methods in the Tesla Model Y in Giga Berlin. So it'll be a couple years before we see that here in the United States. Now looking at the competitive landscape, I think that Tesla can afford a couple years before having to make a drastic change here in the US. However, there's many cases where companies bring out new technology and the Osborne effect can really happen. So I think there's enough time on the horizon before you're even gonna be able to get your hands on one of these in the United States. The wait isn't going to be worth it for now. However, if you look at your timeline of when you're planning to replace your vehicle and it's within a year or maybe the next couple years, you might want to mark your calendar for sometime in 2023 before you take your next car if you're considering the Tesla Model Y. If these improvements do hold true, we also expect the battery to bring a 14% reduction in price and those chassis improvements with the single casted front and rear will bring another 7% in reduced price. So that's 21% reduction in cost to Tesla. Now this is not 21% reduction in cost of the car to build, but it'll be 21% total in two different areas. So the cost for them to produce the battery will be reduced 14% and the cost for all the components that make up the front and rear that'll be replaced by the cast, that will be reduced by 7%. Overall, I would expect to see the price reduced a couple thousand dollars just from these improvements, as well as an increase in range up to that 400 to 410 miles of range. This is significant because Tesla would be offering what they're considering a more mass market product for a slightly less price with over 400 miles of range. Hitting 400 miles of range and being under $50,000 would be a significant achievement for Tesla in the coming years. Now for those in EU, we don't know what pricing structure looks like yet, but it is going to end up being worth the wait for those of you in Europe. So it wasn't that long ago that Elon Musk did hint that the Tesla Model Y at Giga Berlin will be structurally different than the Tesla Model Y we see here in North America. And it turns out this is probably what he was referring to. Structurally, this is going to be a different car than what we see here. Furthermore, all we know about with Fremont and that casting machine that was installed is that it definitely makes the rear single casting. But it's been very difficult to confirm if the front single casting is in production or if it will be in production soon at Fremont. We can assume it'll be a while before the front and rear single casting is in place at the Fremont factory. And it'll be interesting to see if they implement these changes right from the start at Giga Austin. Giga Austin is also scheduled to be open sometime in 2021. And it's supposed to be for the Tesla Cybertruck, of course. It's also going to house the Semi, and then eventually it will be making all the Tesla Model Ys for the eastern half of the country. So I'm curious what your thoughts are. How do you feel about having already purchased your Tesla Model Y? What do you think about ordering a Tesla Model Y now? Will this delay your decision? Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this. For me personally, I think that this is fantastic news and quite honestly, I'm quite surprised that we're going to be seeing substantial improvements in the Tesla Model Y anytime soon. So this is great news for EVs as a whole. This is going to further put pressure on the competition as Tesla continues to innovate and pull those timelines ahead. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something exciting today. If you've liked this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you as we continue to post content regularly. Thank you so much for stopping by today and we'll catch you next time.